Hey, this is Kate from Minute Earth. Until relatively recently, humans believed everything we could see in the sky was orbiting around the Earth. Of course, the Moon was the only thing actually orbiting the Earth, and the Earth itself was orbiting a star. But there were other objects orbiting that star that also had things orbiting them, so we decided to call all of those secondary satellites moons, too. Nowadays, when people say moon, they essentially mean a natural satellite of a satellite of a star which seems to capture our collective intuition for what distinguishes a moon. However, there is a problem. Space rocks come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and behave in many ways, many of which don't seem at all like our traditional idea of a moon. We could at this point give up and say, okay, all these things are moons. But in this video, we're gonna defend the idea that moon is a special type and we shouldn't award it too broadly. To start with, through improvements in technology, we've ended up calling smaller and smaller things moons. We've already identified more than 60 increasingly small moons orbiting Saturn alone, some of which are essentially kilometer-wide rocks hiding in its rings. It's inevitable that we'll keep identifying ever smaller individual chunks orbiting planets. So if we don't set some lower limit on moon sizes, are we willing to think of each of the billions of tiny rocks and dust particles in Saturn's rings and every last speck of dust orbiting the Earth?